Welcome to the OSRs podcast, where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content. Creators nailed it. I'm in that can one of your hosts, followed by Yo, what's going on guys? Rexy here. And um Rice Cup. What's up guys? <laughs> Glad to be back, bro. RuneScape is <clears throat> in a dilemma. A lot of things going on, man. It's gonna make for a hell of a podcast, bro. Oh, I'm excited. It should, but I think that we should address um, the little hiatus we've been on for the last two weeks because it's just that time of year, really, isn't it? Like we've all struggled getting together. Um, we we have struggled to find a time in the past two weeks where it fits everybody. Yeah. Do you guys have anything to say? It's just it's just yeah. that time of year, man. I've been super busy seeing family and friends Yo, and stuff. Well, and it's I mean, difficult. we all live on different parts of the globe, especially Rakesy's all the way over there on the side. So um, mm-hmm. even getting together now is a miracle. So we were trying to get a podcast going for the last two weeks, Yo, and uh, last I week... almost fell asleep today. To be honest, so. <laughs> last <laughs> we last week was tragic, bro. We we uh, me and Mint missed our alarms. Well, like his phone, yeah. his phone ran out of power, and I thought I turned on my alarm for, but for the first time in months, I forgot to turn it on. Or there was a fifty percent chance I slept over it. Which is like I don't remember that, so I think yeah, I just forgot. When my on. phone didn't ring, I was like, "Yes, I get to sleep in." And I look over at like four. I'm like, "Oh shit, dude! Oh no!" I go to Twitter. I'm like, "No!" I I was literally waiting. I, I think I waited like maybe almost two hours. It was oh. till like ten, half ten, maybe eleven. And then you started messaging in the chat, and I was like, "These motherfuckers!" I was Yo, like, "It's too late Rixie. to do the podcast." <laughs> and I'm for a night, Rixie. Oh, <laughs> we're we're even sure. now. <laughs> I should have yeah. just uploaded a solo version title. No, you should have. Hey, yeah, my friend just being me. complete silence. <laughs> just right, playing the game in the little window. I'm in favor of Rixy is available by himself. He, he could just make his own. If if we oh. miss our alarms. I won't do <laughs> dude, it again. I, I'd be down for that, man. I'd yeah, be, um, I, I'm down for that, too. I'd you could just talk shit the okay. whole time, dude. I, I'll, tell you what I, I'll tell you what I'll talk about. Talk about space, man. <laughs> we've been, me, and, me and my friends, we've been talking and watching a lot of space videos, man. Yeah. It's so fascinating. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, buying, I'm buying my niece a really nice telescope for Christmas. And to be honest with you, I think I'm going to use it more than her. Like, it's going to be awesome, man. Yeah, I bro, love I'm it. all about them aliens, boy. I'm all about it. I'll join that shit. I think, dude, it's so interesting. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, when you really think about, like, how big space is, the universe and stuff like that. And... I'm the kind of person, like, I like to know things. So it intrigues me on a level which is almost, like, infuriating that we don't understand everything but and a lot of stuff is... about the universe. Like, it drives me crazy. Would life be worth living if we did understand every aspect, though? Um, Maybe, maybe not. I don't think the difference would change, is... you know. I feel like it might. Too much that. knowledge. Yeah, but like, there's so many unanswered questions. Like, I, what I, I want to know too. The, wanna the know. unanswered Come stuff, on. which I, I want to know. know, makes life more like you know, maybe some when I die, something will happen, or you know, maybe there's other things out there that I can't comprehend, or maybe there's something to look forward to, maybe there's not. But if I knew for sure, it could be like the worst thing. <laughs> you know, hey, man. like for I, sure, I it's born, fucked. I was born in but, time to play RuneScape, so that's Gucci. Dude, it. Th- this is well, that's that's the beauty of it, man. Everything, including us, even RuneScape, it all came from the stars. You know, yeah, it yeah. all came, it all began. Like, I mean, the theory is the Big Bang, right? Even these so, recent updates that we're gonna talk about. It, everything, dude. Like everything came from like what is it, a uh, supernova? Or, I, I can't remember what the Big Bang was supposed to be, but it was effectively like a supernova on the next level. Like, yeah, uh, the th- do you know what boggles my mind about space? Like, com- to be completely real, right? So, obviously, these are all theories. The Big Bang isn't set in stone. We don't know if it's right. But it's, you know, they have decent grounds to believe the Big Bang yeah, is didn't the theory. They, didn't they see a bunch of, ra- like, energy that was uh, cast a long time <clears throat> ago that kind of makes the Big Bang, like, the number one theory? Because it's, yeah. you know, I swear it, to God they did that. It, it's number one theory, but there's no... It, it's just a theory at the end of the day. It's, no, it's, it's like not, some really good proof, though. Yeah, like, yeah. where it's yeah. as good as it gets. That the universe is expanding it, and that where shit was beforehand. Like, yeah, but it is just a theory. So, basically, you know, that's the closest we have to what we believe is the truth. And when you look at everything scientific, it's like, it kind of leads to that. But, like, do you know what really, like, sharpens my mind? And I'm like, I want to know, right? If you really look into this stuff, it's like... Right, I have this conversation with my friends all the time. I love talking about it. But like, what, when you think about space and nothing, right? Think of nothing, right? Is, is this what's in my hand? Nothing, okay? 
Like, the truth is, that that's not nothing. There's a lot of something here. There's a lot of things going on right here that we can't see, okay? Now, imagine they believe that in the beginning, there was effectively nothing, okay? And I can't remember the scientific names, but it was effectively a load of, like, the smallest things you could ever imagine. I think they're called, um, I think they're called, is it quartz? Or quartz? Like, yeah, do you know anything make, about this, Rui? Yeah. Yeah, I've, you yeah. Know, I, I've watched some science videos about sales. What make up, yeah. uh... So, <clears throat> yeah it was tiny tiny so i don't know i'm not a scientist but it was things like gravitons you know electrons and stuff like that but effectively there was nothing and then all of a sudden there was something right but like what the fuck is nothing how do you describe what nothing is like imagine like the universe right now is obviously the whole thing around us but at some point it was like blank deadline but what is that does that not intrigue well, you to find yeah, out? Like to me, I'm definitely. just like I'd love to know what it was. There's actually like, a lot know, of theories on how it? that happened, and w nothing is actually um, something. There's there's these photons that are I don't know if they're well, I don't know the words you know, for it, but they pop to in out, and out of reality. Well, they're trying to figure stuff time. out like dark energy and dark matter. So those are like the things that we can't see. Yeah, like, and you know they, what quantum mechanics is, Rexy? Um, I don't think any of us really I've definitely know. heard of it. Can you explain it in like quite an easy, comprehensible way? <laughs> I don't think any of us it, are really. It's qualified. like the smallest. It's it's like a whole different realm. It's like super fucking small. Where things that happen here, it's different there. Like you can be in two places at one time. Uh, not us, but just like the smallest. But it's not like an electron. Like, what's yeah, that? It's, it's so the smallest small, shit. You know, like it's they're called small. quartz. I'm pretty sure they're well, called it, quartz. Well, it's yeah, a, there's it's, a lot it's of different. There, there's a it's various amount of them. There's like neutrinos and all that other stuff. There's, there's yeah, scurvy. it's how it works in like such a small. It's like how how shit works on such a small scale, and they've done science into it, and it's like it could be in two places at once. Uh, stuff pops in and out of fucking reality, right? So if there's nothing there, things are still going on where things are popping in and out. And they actually did a uh, a lot of experiments, and that is true. So, but I think we should save this. Co if you guys want to know about space, man, Dude, I, let's I talk know about space. Let's have a space podcast. Bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's on. bring a let's Come bring on, a dude, astro Let's ask the viewers, man, yeah, if yeah. they want it. I'm and sure, then, dude. I'm yeah, sure we could make. I'm sure we could make a very interesting space podcast. Where yeah, like gamer space. nerds talks to astrophysicists about. Space. The amount of documentaries I watch, it'd be ridiculous. Yo, okay. Five hundred hey. likes, we'll do it. How about that, Rexy? Which one of the we'll viewers dude, is, I'm is down, knowledgeable? Man. Which one of the viewers is very knowledgeable? in space and stuff like that we'll bring him on we'll just yeah, bring on uh, a cold one he knows right the, the <laughs> thing is it's it's one of those subjects that it's hard to get people into i had um a good friend of mine i saw probably like two weeks ago i hadn't seen him in like a month for two months and me and my friend that i see on a regular basis we always talk about space right and he came around and we started talking about space and he really couldn't get his head in the right place to really think about it and he was thinking like he was like, why should we think about space when, you know, we got so many problems here and it's like, we have all of this stuff going on and the same kind of attitude of like, would you like to know and so on. And, but it leads to so many like great ideas and faults. For example, it's like, imagine on our world, right? Theoretically, like we achieved world peace, right? And what, what I mean by world peace is like, nobody's hungry, nobody's thirsty. Everybody has a very well, always thirsty. livable standard of living if that makes sense. Like everybody's, you know, everybody's content with what they have. There's There'd not any no... fighting over power there, is what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. There'd be no fighting over power. Like theoretically, everything has been fixed. Like imagine that world, right? If we stop squabbling amongst ourselves and on a day-to-day -day basis, we do so many pointless things which achieve nothing. And even if you feel like you're achieving something in a sense, it's like in the grand scheme of it, it's like, we're kind of just so stuck in our own daily routines and doing the same thing over and over again. It's like, there's so much more that we could be doing. If I truly believe that there was world peace or something along those lines, it would be like, okay, we sorted our shit out here. What do we do now? Yeah. How do we make Conquer our planet better? Conquer the universe. Conquer the universe. But it's oh, like, I, I feel like we'd explore, expand out, explore the you know? Universe. Well, the only way we can come <laughs> together is if we have a common enemy. So I'm Which thinking is if aliens pop DDoS. up. No. <laughs> I know, um, <laughs> dude. If Ra I, I'm a huge fan of this shit, so I blame Rakesy. If he's gonna continue this conversation, yes. I'm gonna go with it. 
but Dude, I've been wanting to talk about it for ages, man. I'm waiting for let's the, let's know, do I'm another the side segment. podcast. I promise I'll be there, all right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we got to get up on the RuneScape because, okay. dude, don't get me started. I'll do our rants. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I, 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 I'll I'm be down honest. too. I'm down too. If you, for that. if you guys would love to have a space <laughs> podcast, and I mean, like, we'll gather a bunch of really interesting videos we can watch, have a discussion with the audience, leave some space comments down. Because I feel like it'd be perfect, right? Because I, I think if we talk about it, it's going to pique people's interest. And if it piques people's interest, people are going to comment. They're going to be like, oh, well, this is what I believe. This is how I think it happened. And we'll, we'll start a whole conversation. And like, obviously, I can't say big words for shit. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that know the, the real terms for stuff. I don't know if it is courts, for example. But I'm sure that people would be interested to like educate us. It could be an educational podcast, dude. I, I'd love to learn more. I truly would. Or, or actually the teacher, man. Just to spike <laughs> their interest, there's a planet out there that rains glass. Dude, yeah, there's a planet out there that's literally a diamond. Like, it yep. rains diamonds. It's like, if you were to get... Because diamonds just basically carbon. So it's like, there's if you a, went near that planet, you would just get shredded. Do you know what dude, I mean? there's a whole fucking water system out there that just kind of moves around. You wouldn't think there... It's crazy with... Okay, let's jump into RuneScape. <laughs> like I said, don't get me started, man. Dude, let's not start talking about black holes, man. It's like something that really ah! shouldn't exist. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck, what the fuck is... It's just like a black hole in space. It's like, it kind of defies everything we know, right? It's Things just like a massive, like, about... what the fuck is this? And it exists. Yeah, and it's like, we don't know anything about it. And it would be such, it would be, like, it might it might be too late, dude. There might be a fucking asteroid that hits us before we even get answers. It infuriates me, man. It dude. really does. I it makes know, me dude. so... Like two, the two things not to mention to race you about, man. <laughs> Pokemon cards, <laughs> black holes, dude. Like, dude, there's there's so much shit right there. Because, like, effectively, like, on a, on a scale like this, right, if a meteor or a word were to hit our planet, and this has happened in the past, where effectively our planet could basically turn into a ball of magma once again, right? And it would cool down after millions of years, and then it would probably start to form life again. And our planet's been around now for, what is it? Is it 15? Five, five years? Is it? Is it no, five or fifteen billion, million or a few, billion? A few billion. Yeah. A few billion. I'm, Four billion. I'm Four pretty billion. sure we're like, like halfway through. Or something. I'm pretty sure we're like halfway through the life cycle of the Earth, basically. And it's like, Where the good I find, Where the good I find that so interesting, but so annoying at the time because I feel like we waste so much time on a daily basis. It's like there's the inevitable something will happen to this Earth where it literally turns back into a ball of magma, and there's no stopping. There's enough time for the Earth to effectively turn into a ball of magma cool down make life once again and then you know like we're talking in like uh, I don't, that's years. not gonna happen anymore because be... once the sun's dead <clears throat> we're we're done dude we gotta go somewhere else that's yeah, why no, we're no, looking not, for I'm other talk, options i know i know when the sun's done it's done yeah. like there's not much hope for us but i'm saying the earth itself like there is enough time for us to turn into a ball of magma it to cool down to have life sprout once again like you know in like lord of the rings you get like the first elves the high elves <laughs> right no, this is like genuinely something I love to think about, man. I, I, I know, love sci-fi. I know, but I like, think imagine, it's time to move to the... Imagine if there podcast. once was a civilization of humans, the first humans that got so advanced, and it was like, they're already fucking gone, dude. Why do you think there's nothing on the other planets, man? They harvest that shit. They, they jump the universe, man. They're out there. Isn't that cool, dude? Like, it I, is. It's just it, a stupid thought of mine. There's, like, there's, actually there's, signs, there's actually signs that humans existed before us. <clears> there's... um. There's actually a, I wouldn't say proof, but you know, if you kind of think about and look at how the things are structured, shit like that, it's really cool. Yeah. I, I, I mean, look, whenever I play RuneScape, because I don't stream, I love it, man. I just watch all of these interesting videos. Like something which I believe people say all the time. Do you know when you think of like the caveman, our ancestors from like thousands of BCs go, right? It's like we perceive them as being stupid in a lot of ways. But the reality is, that our society hasn't actually been around for that long. It's only been a few hundred years, right? And when you really look at the ancestors we had back then, like the cavemen, and we think they were idiots, they weren't fucking idiots, dude. They were almost like superhumans in a way because they were so able to do stuff. It's like everyone back then, if you stand at a chance of survival, <clears throat> you had a basic knowledge of being able to like navigate. You had a basic knowledge of being able to like to herblore. So you could like know what was safe in the environment, what you could eat, what you could use, etc. Those humans, our ancestors, had a great knowledge of everything. <clears throat> and like the society we live in now, 
Yeah, you can effectively just be a fuck up and live in your bed on Facebook all day, and you're not gonna die. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, compared to them, we are the inferior race. You know, like maybe they got wiped out and all of that, but damn, <clears throat> they were able humans. Like they mm-hmm. truly were. We can talk about all this stuff in another podcast. Anyways, let's do some reskin. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we let's were supposed it. to do that like a while like, ago. Oh, yeah. you're taking Gucci, it too seriously. He starts comparing shit to elves. Right. And well, let's see. Let, let's see. Let us see if people are interested in what we spoke about. Because I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're either gonna get well, a, a lot of dislikes, or we're gonna get a lot of likes, and people being well, like, "Hey, that sounds like an interesting subject." Yeah, I just feel like we should, you know, do that at, 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 a, at a different. You know, different uh, topic yeah, it, podcast. It, it's fine. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into the boring stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so boy, we got three you things. Did a lot going on in <laughs> yeah, we got three topics. We got three big ones. So the first one, <clears throat> pretty short. Just uh, the server issues uh, as of you know ever since Twisted Lakes, so like past three weeks. And then we're trying to talk about uh, the Christmas event real quick. You know, just the memes on that. And then we're gonna talk about the Ashihana updates. <laughs> Uh, you know the things that passed which everything did by the way so the armors and the weapons and you know the boss We'll talk about that for the end. That's oh, our surprising. final segment. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, Do you... I think they're called quarks by the way. I don't think quarks? it's okay. quarks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure quarks is a movement <laughs> in a wall. God damn it, Rixie. Uh... <laughs> okay, I think okay. it's quarks. All right, oh, let's go no. connectivity issues. So, so any of y'all experienced it? So, yeah, well, the yes. servers have been bad. Mobile just started working again. And um, <coughs> something cool and kind of scary to think about is that Lizard Squad, I was watching a Keemstar video. I do that randomly. Uh, <laughs> and he was talking like... about Lizard Squad is actually going to be making an appearance in December. And the I think they posted Squad? on their Twitter page that they hit down Discord. So Yeah, uh, yeah the oh, real I... one or the one of many Lizard Squads? Because there's dude, a bunch I, of them. I don't know. By the way, I have a suspicion that the servers being very laggy are somewhat connected to the fact that recently Old School RuneScape, um, they took down Bogla and like whatever the other gold site is. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they were pretty pissed off about that. Yeah, yeah, that's um, kind of that's kind of shitty though. I mean, they've they've made so much money off this game, and I mean, <clears> they <throat> are definitely not a positive influence, right? They're like, <clears throat> I'm afraid to say bad things because they're gonna come after me. But I mean. If, if that they are behind the DDoS, dude, they made so much money out of this game. I don't. Well, if I mean, it's not, not a thing, man. Like, old school, just if that is the case, and that's obviously just me, you know, just talking a bit of shit, but yeah, if that was but, the um, case, then they've effectively taken away like a six figure salary per yeah, month from those people, like, who wouldn't be pissed? Whoever you know? they well, were. No, I get that, but they made that money knowing the risks that it was going to be like this one day. I mean, yeah. they didn't think they could just black market the game forever or maybe but they like, did i don't know maybe they did you, i don't you, you gotta think the people that have the mentality to like just do so like it's very black market right like i'm sure the ddosing servers is not beneath them you know like i wouldn't be surprised oh, no, i wouldn't they, put it past them i'm not saying those those websites uh did it but there have been uh you know people who make money off runescape in those ways who have hit runescape multiple times so it's definitely yeah, we happened don't before. we don't know you know who but did we don't it know or what group yeah. of people did it. it could be different groups of people that's that's the problem with ddosing nobody knows a lot where, of people were giving what, you know? rendy shit because of his newest video that he made where he uh was talking about the dupe and that you have to crash the servers in order to dupe and rendy was getting a lot of shit and then he just tweeted out i think it's down below uh kind of defending himself saying that you know even jagex said they're world ddos it's not because people are hitting off the servers or or not hitting off but um uh, glitching out the servers so i you know randy randy seems to be in the clear even though i didn't think he was dude either. all I, all i know i like randy we don't deserve randy he is our <laughs> lord and savior and if anybody has anything bad to say about this man after what he did for our game right you're wrong Dude, he was saint. getting he was getting memed by a lot of content creators. I'm not gonna say any names, but like not good memes. You know, he was getting memed in a well, bad way after that well, video. Well, what do you expect? I, I hope that you can sense the sarcasm in what I just said. I mean, his video was effectively like, "I am the savior. I have saved the yeah. game. Give me something." Do you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, get over yourself, mate. I'm pretty sure you know, it was Rune Light that like, caught the guy that was DDoSing for the dude, though. I find it so funny on the it's, 
it's like how did he find out about this glitch the dupe oh he was involved in glitches in games and it's like what's a bannable offense uh, well I, i'm pretty sure it was I, I really don't have all right so so quote, quote me <clears throat> if if i'm wrong and and write the right source but i'm pretty sure it was ruin light that actually figured out who the ddoser was because he that that guy had the uh was on ruin light i believe and and the you know the the ip is obviously connected to the server of the the room light host right so they knew that person well not like the actual person but like you know the place and what was happening and they like reported it to jagex did they do that done. before everything happened and went down or no, before the duping like i mean as the duping was going on they like they tracked him and then they reported it to jagex how did they how did they know that it was going down in the first place though? Was Randy a key part? Oh, I don't know. I, don't, actually... I have no idea what Randy had to do with it, like or, or who told him, but you know, somebody must have told him from like I mean, uh, Rune dude, Light. in the in the video, Randy was basically involved in a in a clan chat where they abused bugs, minor bugs. And the same people must have trusted him to an extent to be like, Hey, this is a dupe we're doing. I and mean, he probably yeah, did it to save know. face and save no skin, idea. in my opinion. Well, That's I watched I a video, and apparently what happened was, um, in Randy's words, because I'm not sure what happened, uh, they were doing some shit, and they said it didn't work, right? The two that duped, they are like, oh, this doesn't work. Uh, we couldn't duplicate the money. It really did work, and he caught on that they were logged in later because uh, they were trying to keep it secret. And so he gradually kind of found out that they were duping and that they were trying to do this behind the CC's back. And uh, that's kind of why he made a video on it, just to report it and uh, show it <clears> some light, is what he said in the video. I'm not sure what actually went down. I like Randy's videos, Dude. personally. I like his editing it, style. It's very fun to watch. I mean, I mean, from the video, <laughs> they basically admitted to him that it worked, right? And I'll tell you this right now. If you find a dupe in RuneScape, like pre-EOC, there was the Dudorino dupe where you could effectively make like infinity amount of cash and like dupe party hats in the Dudorino. Like, that shit was not known about for months, right? Because once you know something like that, you don't tell fucking anybody. You just sit there and you farm tens of thousands of dollars worth of gold per day. Like, the fact that he was actually told and informed about it, it's just like, well, that's a little bit of a red flag in itself, if you know no, what I'm he, saying. Well, in the video, he was informed after he confronted them. So he kind of had the dig. Not that I know that it happened. That's just how he presented Dude. it, but these people like you gotta think of like the amount of money they were potentially on to like oh i know it's like oh you called our bluff you're right we we've been doing it we're just gonna announce that to you of sixty thousand subscribers yes yes the dupe was us it works do you know it, it's bullshit you wouldn't admit even if it was true if you were in that position so i think there was a lot going on behind the scenes and I don't buy it all. But yeah. like I said, he's yeah. our lord and savior. We can't speak badly of Rendy. But like, anyways, though, uh, <laughs> it, it, the, the DDoS stuff, I mean, honestly, it, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like if one group of people do it and then there's issues about it and, and it becomes popular, other people will try to do it too. Because like there was there was DDoS happening three weeks ago where <clears throat> um, like Oda Block, right? He's one of the biggest streamers at the moment for RuneScape, but like everywhere he hopped to, it was getting DDoS. So it was like targeted. There was one group, probably different people to be honest, feels like different people that were just targeting him and going and DDoSing anywhere that he was in. And and I I'd, I got hit off too, not not like me specifically, but I happened just to be in, in one of the Twisted League worlds on the first week that it came out that I just, <clears throat> it was so bad that the, the, the world's just straight up like crashed so hard. Yeah, you were like in the middle of like a two-hour home fire. Yeah, I was crazy. That was, that was crazy. crazy. Everything was so it was everything was frozen. Me and the boss, I could only move like one square every like ten seconds. And the same same thing with the boss, like the lightning too. It only moved one square like every ten seconds. So I was able to like slowly like you know just dodge things over like a, a <coughs> minute a minute of time. And, and like it it was supposed to take like ten seconds. What took ten seconds took like two minutes to perform all the way through because of like how bad it was and then it's just like you get kicked off after a while you know like it was bad no, and then no, last when... week i uh, no, this week this week it was bad like all the worlds it's were still just pretty bad terrible yeah. dude all the worlds I, terrible. I, to be honest with you that's on <laughs> such like a huge scale this week with just the server lag yeah I don't it was think bad that was... yeah this week it, was i i'd be surprised if it was ddos and like it was because they the 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 post confirmed that they they've been uh dealing with the ddos for a while now Oh, it, what? What? They were DDoSing every single RuneScape world out there. 
Well, I mean, I don't know. They didn't say every single word. I, they said they I'm, just said it we was, are. It was. We every are. Single world. Yeah, this week. Yeah, this week was like that. But it's different. You know, what I mean, throughout the weeks. You know, what I mean, some some of it was targeted towards a person. Some of it was like random worlds. Uh, but like this week was like <clears throat> all the worlds. It was, so it was it was it was quite. I feel like it was just different groups of people. You know, getting into the hype. Like different groups of hackers getting into the hype and just trying to. Yeah. Dance, you know. Possibly. Yeah. Here's a weird input on that situation. Um, so the dupe was figured out, right? Everyone knows about it. It could be patched. It could not. But what if someone was actively attempting to do the dupe to the point where the servers got so bad, right? But Jagex can't say that they're still actively doing it because that would look bad on their part. So they say it's DDoSing. I don't think this happened. I'm pretty sure it is DDoSing, but do you think that's a situation that could occur? I mean, you know, some people probably like, like some of them were doing it for duping, right? Like the first group. But I just, it, it's so obvious now to me that it's just different groups of people. You know, they all like catch onto the hype. Have they have they kinda... patched that if you log in on that many accounts with that many actions going on that it doesn't hit the world off now? We don't know. That, they, that stuff is confidential. They can't tell you stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I, I know like... that they, they deployed some form of like a hot fix to stop the dupe happening. But it, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, I'm in the content creator, um, discord thing that rendy like i don't are you two in that discord mm -hmm. by the way no i don't i don't know i don't go in it though yeah. i should okay but like it was very clearly pointed out like i said like these people if they found the way to dupe tp they will stop at nothing to be able to get another crack at that pipe yeah probably. so you know like they could be doing just, it just... then still right like Who knows, yeah well, that's possible. Think if Jagex, it, maybe if jagex found a complete fix or this glitch, they would definitely come forward and say something because it would discourage it, people. It's ser it's seriously not the case because the like the worlds that I were in had like you know some of them were a minimum of two hundred players, which is nowhere near enough players to like crash the world in the first place, and those worlds are laggy. So <laughs> I don't I don't think that the two are connected. I think yeah, it's just, just different groups of people. And, yeah, and like would it even be enough people. to what like what the fuck's happening to mobile, right? I, yeah, I doubt same, that's no, it's connected not, either. Yeah, but... the mobile is because of the DDoS. They the okay. mobile just didn't work I mean, because it, they couldn't connect to the server. It on on a plus side, like RuneScape Mobile brings in so many players, and you know what it's like on mobile games. It's like, well, if I can't get onto my mobile game, I'm gonna find another. So hopefully that was enough for Jagex, like this whole experience to be like, all right. We kind of like half assed for a while regarding our servers and being able to be easily DDoSed. Like, this has truly affected us. And now we're actually going to do something about it. I'm hoping. I mean, that's I'll be the honest. Case. The last time the, the worlds got hit off the, this hard was a long time ago. You know, that was, was, when, was, um, that was when you could uh, lose items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Those were bad. Oh my God. Those were fucked. Jesus that Christ. was the dark age of runes. The game, amount man. of people DDoSing the servers at the same time, it like. It's just there's so many lizard squads back then, dude. What the fuck? It's just like one group, yeah, lizard dude, squad, it, and then another group, lizard it, squad. Listen, lizard listen. Squad. It really like, doesn't fuck? take very yeah. much to hit a server off. I don't really know anything about the ins and outs. I've never had anything to do with it. The closest I've had was back in like it, it was when um they got rid of the EP system and they made it so that if you killed someone in the wilder, you could get their stuff on pre OC servers. It was pre OC, yeah. And I was with a clan. And I was literally in a in a team speaker ventrilo with like four people, and they scouted a guy that was PKing at Mage Bank with Red Party Hat, which was like 1.3 build at the time. And these guys were absolute goons, and somehow they had the ability to hit the server off. And they were up there, and he was just like, "I'm on him, I'm on him," and he just ice barraged and turned the server off, turned it back on like 10 seconds later. Hey yo, Red Party Hat on the floor. You know what I mean? This guy was in like max hybrid gear, and these are people that. Like these weren't like geniuses. Uh, it sounds off. like they, they were DDoS like... their IP, their 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 personal connection to the game, not the actual server. Uh no, the whole the whole thing went down. The whole, uh, the whole went world went down oh, okay. for for like a good twenty seconds. Connection lost back in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, if you think like going back to the Lizard Squad, like if they are coming back in December and they did hit off Discord, like how hard it would it be to get RuneScape down? If, I, I mean, yeah, Discord it, seems it, to be. Not hard. Yeah, it's really so, hard. So they I mean, could for, terrorize this game if they wanted to. Yeah, from what it's I can not remember, worth it though, you know, it's not worth it. From what I can remember, it's almost as simple as like when you're in the RuneScape client, like it, it's something stupid like just going to properties and like getting some of the information there, and it literally gives you like the address to like the server, and it it really ain't that difficult. And then effectively, the people that just DDoS over players, 
I think like they pretty much have the ability to take a world down if they choose. Like the people that are doing it, like people that target um, DDoS, like Oda Block and stuff like that, they're not like some like whiz uh, geniuses by any means. Uh, you don't, have, I mean, you don't necessarily have, have to be a genius. You just no, gotta they, put in the research, but I'm, it's just they, they you know. pay money to buy a program, which then they put an IP in, and it's that simple. It's like they're not the wizards behind it. They're just sad enough to actually have bought the program. Well, I mean, they could be both. You know, some people buy, some people make. Right? It's like, I don't know. Those, these assumptions don't really, I don't think, matter in the grand scheme. It's just, yeah, the DDoS happening for the past three weeks is because of DDoS server yeah. shit. You know why? Lots and of now DDoS it's been going fixed, on. or it, it looks like it. Yeah, so far, lag so for me in the last two yeah. days. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and right. the next next thing, next thing, pretty simple Christmas event. <laughs> People were talking shit about the new. The new shield, Bruh. cosmetic by so, the way. No, don't worry about it. It's just a holiday event. So man. who's behind this shield? Who like who? Mag you know the mod? Yeah, Mag G. Yeah, yeah. G? That's the that's the one. Okay. It's the lady, right. lady artist. You know. I think she does great work. Yeah, she personally, does. Personally, like, so before <laughs> Rakesy starts ripping it to shreds. All right. <laughs> this shield is fucking hilarious. And yeah, sure, maybe the game's integrity isn't intact. After beautiful piece has been made, but I fucking love it. It, it, look at how beautiful that thing is, man. It, it's the dumbest looking. It, it, oh god, it just kind of symbolizes Christmas and RuneScape. That dumb little Keebler elf looking. It's, it's beautiful. That's what, that's what I think. Rakesy was uh, not so I, keen. I genuinely candy. don't believe that if everybody in the old school RuneScape team was sent like a picture of this, <laughs> that they, they all said, "Oh, that's a fantastic," thing. right? And it's, it's just. I don't know, that's me, dude. You know, it makes me feel embarrassed if I Look I haven't seen the game yet, but I will genuinely feel embarrassed. Like I'd just be like, this is part of the game. Like like I said, I think that this could have been way better if they would have simply instead of had it the gnome face. Like gnomes are small as they are, they could have literally just had like a literal gnome as a shield, like as a meat shield. Like that would have been cool, you know. But instead, yeah, with the gnome this. on a shield. He wants a literal meat shield child. That's what he wants instead of a yeah. cookie face. That would be oh fucking awesome, dude. Like, but instead we got this. Look at the nose. I, I don't know. I'm just embarrassed, man. I <laughs> genuinely have so many mixed feelings about it. It's whatever. It's, it's I, like really, I, I honestly don't really care. It's, it's not like people are going to actually wear this stuff, you know, after the event's over. <laughs> I think yeah. it makes a mockery of our game. <laughs> Bro, yeah. we have a gnome child puzzle box. <laughs> I mean, this is on par with being as bad as that just being a massive party has a shield. You can literally in hold a opinion. rock in this game and just walk around for rock, all right? Yeah, yeah we got some silly shit. There's a lot of dumb Easter shit bunny mask this well. doesn't, It surprised me because I just woke up and I'm chilling on Twitter and I just see this big-ass face and people just being, like, <laughs> trolling on Twitter hard. I was like, oh, my God. But, you know, now that I think about it, you know, RuneScape, RuneScape has dumb shit like this all the time, man. I, it's not like it belongs 100%, but I personally, I, I don't know, man. It's yeah, kind of cool. I'm not, I don't really care too man. much because, like, ever since that bunny mask from last year, I, I've stopped caring, you know? Like, it's whatever. No one's really going to wear it. People just mad it's not cat ears, man. They really want cat ears in RuneScape. I, maybe, yeah. maybe we're just, well, maybe I'll speak for myself. Maybe I'm too old to appreciate Yeah, it's just it, a lot of. It, Vented frustration, you know, directed know. at the best part is look at how high it looks. Like that looks huh. like he just got done with something, you know. It look, just look at the uh, the black the black parts of the eye. One of it's like <laughs> it's sticking it's out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe this will like some kids on Twitter will see this and be like, this game looks amazing, and we might get some more children playing. Yeah, 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 the robot community. Yeah, yeah. We need, we need I, some put it this way: I, I don't, I'm only, I, I don't really care too much. I don't think people are gonna quit over this shield, um, but I also doubt people are. Gonna I would like game to know the person who quits shield. over this shield. That would yeah, be no, amazing. No, no. I would love this, to. Know. Stupid, I bet, I bet you there might be like one or two. You know, this is the last straw. Talking about, I think a couple people started to get banned off Twisted League for cheating or botting. I, yeah. I had a lot of higher rank people in my chat, and they were talking about like, oh, I just gained a couple ranks overnight. I didn't do anything. Somebody must have uh, got taken out of the competition. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, if you cheat in Twisted League, you know how like if you die in the wild and you have to change your name? You need to like change your name like six times or some shit or just like quit RuneScape for you. You'd be che cheating in fucking Twisted League, bro. Some sweaty shit right there i know dude 
Who does that, man? That's like bonding on an Iron Man. It, it's like, just laziness. Like people did it in Dead Man mode. Like when it came to um, auto clicking Alks, for example. Yeah. It's just one of the like if there's a way people will do it, you know, it's gonna save people time. They're gonna try to get away with it. And at the end of the day, I doubt very much your Twisted League account is directly connected to your main in the sense of if you get banned off Twisted League, I, I bet you there's no consequence for your main. So. You know. Well, I heard in Deadman mode, like people who got caught auto clicking, right? Just just for like very low experience per hour, just to fucking do something, were actually banned on both parties permanently, without appeal. I think it happened um, to one of my mods, I, actually. I I knew some people that were doing that. Some of them got caught, and some of them didn't. But the ones that got caught just got disqualified. Like that was literally it. The RuneScape accounts were still fine. My my guy got banned on both. That's so weird. He was um I think he was auto clicking Alks. Yeah. Well, I'm talking I won't name any names, but the guy I'm talking about was a YouTuber at the time and tell you guys after the podcast. But um, oh, I don't know. Okay. He, he was he was, right. his main account wasn't banned, but I know that he got disqualified. So All right. Damn, which I, I was happy I was happy about because I sat there for like an entire day alking while he went to bed. <laughs> really, really pissed me off. So when I found out that he got disqualified, I was just like, "Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah." That's like messed up. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. yeah, that's about it on the Christmas. There's yeah, really I guess whole lot. you know. Tell us down below if you guys like the the gnome child face, man. Yay or nay? Try to be friendly. Or just don't. It's, really it's December. Care. And, or yeah. yeah, if you don't give a shit, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is the big. Yeah, Rice. Tell us about the whole the voting. Piece. Like everything got passed and shit. Uh, well, so Nightmare Ashihana is gonna be the new premier boss, you know, coming out right after Twisted League. So, like, looks like January, around January. And it's gonna also, be, we don't know a whole lot about the boss, but they said it's gonna be similar to Corp in that, uh, I guess it's mostly geared towards, like, you know, a, a dynamic fight with different people, you know, multiple people in, in, in your team. But uh, yeah, it's it's supposed to be around that difficulty. I'm hoping it's like harder, to be honest, because like some of the rewards are actually pretty, pretty. I strong. got some boss questions. Where do you know where it's gonna be located? Yeah, it's in Mauritania. Like uh, I can read the. Oh, that could be top. on the expansion. A new threat has arrived in Mauritania. Nightmare of Ashihana. The nightmare is a new group boss located within this sisterhood sanctuary deep beneath the town of uh, Sleep. So so there's that area that's north of uh, the. Uh, theater theater of blood and it's like pretty dead content there's nothing there but yeah i guess they have plans a long time ago to put the boss there because that city's been there ever since theater of blood but there's nothing to do there so how, how do you guys feel about these items coming through i don't know what the armor's like yeah i'll I've tell seen, i'll tell I've you more about it i've seen the staff yeah I'll so tell you personally more before we there. before we jump into it like the mortania update in general i think we talked about it before in another podcast may or may not be uh, coming to the game because of Settle, right? They they haven't announced why they're going to be expanding Mortania, but a lot of people have been thinking, you know, Settle's content's pretty big now. Maybe they're just, you know, trying to, to go no, hand well, in hand. Well, the thing is, Slep was a thing uh, at uh, when Theater Bug came out, so I don't really think so. I think they just always had this idea. Maybe, yeah. yeah. That's just um... Because what were they going to do with the town of Sleep if they weren't going to do anything with it? They, they had it there way before Settle blew up. You know, like what, like Theater of Blood happened before Settle blew up. You know, it, I I don't think this Did was it? because of yeah, Settled. Yeah, but I definitely. expect it may have been sure? knocked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out before Theater, Settled. Theater of Blood was. It came out before him though. It came out before he did his like series. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Theater of Blood is over <laughs> a year old, dog. <laughs> yeah, his his no. series is older as fuck. No, dude, I, it's what? lost my memory. It's fucked up, dude. No, no, Theater, Theater, Theater of Blood's Blood. been around for a while, bro. I, 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 I was doing there Theater when Blood with you, and I'm yeah, like, and I, was I, over I knew about Settle back then. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's but over. that's before no. he did his his uh you know Mauritania only account. That was before. Re that. I'm, I'm gonna take you where I don't remember. Yeah, regardless yeah, of whether it's for Settled or not, it doesn't. Who cares? Yeah. What are you guys? Huh. Do you, you want to go over the armors and the weapons, Re? Because you got some knowledge on this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find the link though. You guys can talk uh, about it for now. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna find it. So, I have been into the beta world. I haven't used the staff of the book. I have equipped the armor. It's a 30 defense armor, which um, it has, I believe, less strength bonus than bandos but it's like a it's a uh, crush bonus set so effectively if there's like a boss which is weak to crush such as cerberus like this will be the best in slot armor to use against it 
um, I feel it's kind of interesting that it has such low defense. But yeah. Okay, I, I don't so know. I, I don't. I, I guess I haven't really looked into it enough to really. So, um, based on these stats, uh, it's not as good as Bandos in general because uh, its defense is nowhere near as good. Because you know it's a level thirty armor, but it's quite strong uh, defensively for a level thirty piece of armor, though. Uh, especially because of the offensive stats. So offensively, it's Bandos pretty much. Yeah. But defensively, it's like uh, I think it's like around Addy Rune armor status. But yeah, um, I think people were saying like, yo, you can do some 30 defense, like uh, PK builds with this thing. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah. I, I've already looked into it. Like 30 defense, if you made your account for defense, I believe that's Addy Gloves, which is cool because that brings back a whole um, bracket of a PK account. And also, the people that wear this armor in PK now, I'm imagining this armor is going to be quite expensive. Like oh, it's yeah, going to have a good use. Quite wear. <laughs> so if you're wearing yeah. this already, you're risking a lot. But you could make yourself a 30 defense third age mage hybrid with this armor like that's pretty cool mm -hmm. third age mage is pretty defense it's free i've checked out it's pretty defense oh damn third age cool. mage so, yeah third age mage the robe the bottom and the the hat it's pretty defense so this is like a whole new tier of pk this could be really cool and i expect there are people already that are making accounts yeah. that are pretty defense and then get I, on i'm that. even <laughs> dude i'm even tempted to do it myself yeah because i think it would be sick to PK where would you PK on that account though? Like, um, would you go to PTP World, Bounty Hunter? I mean, it's looking yeah. pretty rough, but like uh, lately, it's just a bounty I mean, hunter it, thing. It right? would just be the standard stuff. Like, you don't really take a thirty defense, a thirty defense, and one defense. There's not very much difference in terms of like offensive stats. Yeah, d uh, sorry, defensive stats. So it's like you're still gonna get destroyed by like Zurich or Pures. So I imagine this will just be like low, low level, level wieldy right? or PvP worlds. Yeah. Okay. I expect there'd be a lot of 30 defense pure accounts, if you want to call it that, that will be fighting other dudes in the same armor. Like, wouldn't it be cool to see people that are like, well, 30 defense, what level would that be for maxed? I don't know, like around about 80, I guess. So they'd be able to fight pures, zerkers, possibly mid. But imagine logging into PvP and seeing two dudes in full third age with that gear fighting each other. That's yeah. pretty cool. I yeah, like outside that. of PK, though, uh, this armor. Uh, like for PVMing, for example, uh, the big thing I could use it for, it, like as a high level PVM, would be just for the Warhammer spec. And yeah. uh, because it gives a uh, crush bonus 8 on the helmet, 12 on the body, 12 on the legs. So that is that is 30 extra crush accuracy that we've never had before. So This will be best in slot in TOB, won't it? Uh, yeah, it over probably, Vandals. Yeah, prob possibly. I, I would probably just wear this overall. Like, cause it has the same strength, and uh, people don't really care too much about the defense as much, because you know, it, I mean, it's you take always void to TOB. Yeah. yeah, yeah, void is for high level TOB -er is specifically to spec with your warhammer, but you can kind of just like not need it anymore. You can just like replace that almost. Well, this void range will still be used though in in TOB. So I'm, I'm thinking, not, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking I, think I'm I would probably it. just swap out Bandos just for the crush accuracy. Just because uh, it'll, it'll help us land the Warhammer better by quite a bit. Yeah. 30 accuracy is worth. That's quite a bit. You know, and you get the same strength bonus. As to be well. honest with the... Wait, what, one second. What would be the best uh, range equipment you could use at 30 defense? You can't use Black Dehyde. You could use the Chaps. But what would be the top, the best? What's the for age range top? Let me check real quick. But yeah, for PVMing though, is it, it's a All niche about third age, man. Yeah, for PVMing, it's just niche shoes for uh, mostly Warhammer, uh, Warhammer specs, and uh, it's gonna come with the Inquisitor's Mace. Though the Mace is going to be the best crush weapon in general, like for for melee. So, Better than Scythe? No, the Scythe is not not really a. It's not specifically a crush weapon. It has a crush style, oh. but it's mainly a slash weapon, and it's mainly uh, used okay. on things that are ginormous. But most bosses are ginormous, so. The Scythe will still be like the premier melee weapon in general, but like you know how we have the Garazi Rapier, which is the best stab weapon in general. We have the, uh, you know, the Salador Blade, which is the best one-handed slash weapon in general. And now there's Crush. This this will fill in that that other style, the Crush. This will be the best one-handed Crush weapon in the game, and it's and it's very strong. It's a level 75, 95 Crush, 89 strength. Off the so, top of your head, Ree, what bosses have uh, low resistance to crush? That this uh, really it's, good on? it's just it, basically this will be a Cerberus. But, uh, this will be used as Cerberus. This will be used at uh, Kelfight Queen, and it, it will definitely be best in slot at regular gargoyles. 
So. Okay, so we can just go off that and assume that once this levels out in prize, it's not going to be absolutely enormous. If the best thing you can kill with it is Cerberus, hence like it has the biggest yeah. drop, Primordial Crystal. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's not a whole lot of bosses like other than those that are like weak to crush. So I unless it's best in slot for the boss itself. Yeah, yeah. Unless right, Ashihana. Uh, is a boss that's weak to crush because they did that with Theory of Blood because Theory of Blood pretty much all the monsters have a noticeably lower slash defense and that means Scythe the premier weapon that you get from it is slash based so yeah that's why it dominates so hard it's because you can hit three times on all those monsters and they all pretty much land because you know their slash defense is low so if they make that boss I mean because like the, the maze is nice but like it's not insanely like good you know like is there a spec to... weapon on it? No, it doesn't have a spec. A special bar. But okay. the staff does, though. Oh, so the, this, the staff yeah, is probably it's... the most controversial because this is pretty straightforward. This is just imagine your grassy rapier that's crushed. You know, that's that's it, right? Right. But the, this staff is wild because it has like three different forms, pretty much depending on the orb that you put onto it. Wait, it has uh, different forms? Yeah, yeah. Depending the on magic the staff? orb. Yeah. Depending on the orbs that you put on it. Oh shit, that's kind of cool, it, man. Yeah. Is the orb that you put on it is it detachable? Can you put the yeah, other yeah, ones you, on? Yeah, yeah, you you can switch it out and whatever. And yeah. let me guess, like there's a staff drop, there's multiple orb drops. Yep, like yep, this yep. boss coming into the game has more unique drops than any boss I've seen. Yeah, outside of raids, yeah. pretty much. This outside is of like I, I'll be honest with you, like from a PvP perspective, this stuff is disgusting. Right? <laughs> yeah, makes sense. We're talking about it. I, I'm at a point. With PvP, I don't ever see myself going back to it on the main. So I'm like, fuck it now. I'm just like, if you want to bring some shit that's going to destroy the wilderness, yeah. which is already dead, sure thing. You know, it's more content. That's more money what I for kept me to make. telling my viewers, like, dude, go back to PK. And I'm like, yo, if that new staff comes into the <laughs> game, I promise I'll come back out and use it because that thing's going to be so fucking broken. Yeah, they nerfed it quite a bit, though. They nerfed that shit quite a bit since the last time. We uh, talked about it. I personally am very surprised a lot of everything passed. Everything passed. <laughs> oh, that's that's crazy. It never yeah, even for stuff bad. that you think wouldn't change the game much, not a lot of shit passes. So yeah, th this that that's really interesting. There's shit that's like not passed that I would say is uh, you, you know my theory, a lot, right? like not as strong as this stuff, and it's yeah. all passed. Bro, so. Rixie, you, you remember like a long time ago, I said like how. Throughout the years, people have become more and more used to more radical updates. Yeah, I I I will tell you now that what I said was was totally spot on because look look at the pass rates on these. Honestly, and, and this isn't even the right one because if you go in the game, uh, everything's like a few percent higher because they don't count the skip question option in there. But like everything passed with flying colors, the lowest thing that passed. The real numbers was 82%, 81.4%. The lowest this is content for days, man. I'm yeah, looking crazy. forward to this. Like, this will be good. This will yeah, be good. Yeah. Now, I, now, I'm sorry for we the PKs, but you know. We can't see the poll results anymore. Putting on my tinfoil hat, right? If <laughs> Is there a way Jagex could somehow and sway the votes and we would never no, find out? No, not because we, no, we, no, they I'm have asking the numbers, if there is. Though. Not that they did. Not saying they did, Rexy. Just kind of hear me. Is there a way they could? Well, what do you well, mean? Uh, like influence course, people to vote yes? I mean, yeah, they'll probably try because they, they put in all the time to, to make the content. So they're they're going to try to like, I mean, just like how if, uh, content creators, we do the same thing, you know? We influence people in a way to vote for some things, you know? I try not. I'm not to, talking but... about influence. <laughs> but I'm like you're saying, they just go, this item goes into the game, boop, and pops it in. Uh, I don't know about rigging the numbers because they have the numbers tallied. So if they if they wanted to, they can show you all the names and shit. Well, yeah. Well, I would like to. I would like to know. Is there a way they could? And uh, yeah, they I would did, like. Could we disprove cool. that? Right? Yeah, it'd like, be cool. Is there a way? It'd be cool, like if there's like a list or something of all the names, so you can like click on it and then you click Control Find and you type your name in. And you see. Because I shit. don't mean to be skeptical, and I don't, I don't think this happened at all. Yeah, no, but I if don't. We want to look at all sides yeah. of everything, right? It doesn't hurt to just kind of look. Yeah, yeah. if they yeah, want it to. It seems a little I, weird I that know. everything did pass into the game, like, um, because this was pretty. People were really, really shitting on like the staff, and the book and everything coming in the game yeah. there's memes people got one hit i mean that that shit doesn't just pop away from your brain right every time you think of that staff even if it got nerfed you're thinking fuck dude it, get, it used to hit an 85 now everything pat i kind of cool but 
almost seems unreal that everything did. Pass. All right, well, I will say that none of these items are insanely overpowered, like relative to a twisted bow, relative to a blowpipe, relative to like regular prayer. None of these things are of that level. They're, they're I would oh, yeah, say they're like a few. Yeah. yeah, they're they're like they're like slightly better in some ways, but more so. Show. More, more so in the niche side. The only Thank thing. You. That that was like a true power creep, like a universal power creep that applies just about anywhere is the book. But I'll cover that in a bit because like this this staff I, is really interesting because. Ooh, I need to know. Can you talk about the staff before? Yeah, we go that's into why it? that's why I'm talking go, about. Yeah. Over XCA, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I, like the staff. Sorry, what were you saying? I was gonna say like I've always looked at a lot of these updates very skeptic skeptically. Um, even though I don't PK, I've always had like the PK community in the back of my mind, but. After all the discussions we've had about the wieldy and the way PKN is right now, like, I don't think there's any hope for it. And, like, to be honest, I didn't vote on this, but if I did, I would have voted yes, just because it's more content, to be completely honest with you. It's like, I think PvP is at the point of no return, and this is more content for the mass majority of people. And I, I will also say this I think with this passing, if they were to poll, um, something similar, if not the Divine Spirit Shield again, I think it would have a significantly higher chance of passing. Seeing yeah, as how this stuff I is mean, all we're at the we're at the day and age where people are just more accepting of crazier things, yeah. you know, more more out of the ordinary, more unconventional things. But yeah, no, this staff has uh, definitely has quite a bit of uses. There's one orb that allows you to hit one take faster, so it becomes Trident Speed pretty much. And this is basically going to be like the primary one that I think PVM is going to be using, mainly for uh, mainly for our main accounts though, because um, it 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 uses regular spells. So in Wait, order so for you it, can you can barrage at the trident's speed. You well, can well, fire no, no, surge. No, uh, yes, you can, oh. but like oh. imagine doing your yeah, but you can't auto cast. You, can, you can't auto cast that, so you have to manual do uh. ancients. But but you can auto cast the fire spells and. And I believe it's supposed to compete with the Trident in PVMing and like the Sang stuff in PVMing, but it, it's gonna cost a fuck ton of money because it requires uh, Tomo Fire charges. So like, yeah, this honestly though, like for Iron Man, we're kind of fucked. We can't really use this too much because uh, Tomo Fire charges are not that easy to get. Well, if you get one, you can drop trade it to me, mate. I'll take off. Yeah, hands. but yeah, either way, <laughs> it'll, it'll just it'll be rarely used unless you're a main account because you can buy all the charges that you want. So or, so, or what you can do is go surge. on a pure slap up that shit and start fire surging people for max damage as fast as a trident. Like that's a that's a thing coming in. Yeah 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 what? yeah yeah. I thought you just said that that was for PVM though. Is it PVP as no, well? No, I'm saying may, it'll mainly be for PV P, PVM uh, because but it can't there's... be used in PVP. No, you can't. That's why I'm, I'm saying sure I'm a little. Can. I'm like I'm like this path. No, but the thing like, is, you know? is that there's another orb that that uh, if you put it on, it gives you a special attack. Uh, which is called the Volatile Orb. That that's the one I think P P cares will mainly use, because that's the one that lets you hit fifty percent. Uh, yeah, it's fifty percent accuracy, and um, it also increases the damage based on your magic level. We don't. It doesn't say exactly. So let's just say that the max hit of Fire Surge is like a forty-seven. So it would go up to maybe a sixty plus. If yeah, like it. sixty, seventy. It, it it doesn't say. I wish they just told me what the fucking max hit was, honestly, because like I can't, I can't like do the math right now and Am just. Am I the out only one is. crazy that that passed? I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. I, I, I maybe, maybe I am, dude. Maybe yeah. So I that am. that's the one with the spec. It's fifty percent spec. So it's kind of like a you know like a mini EGS for magic. Phew. And Jesus. then there's the uh, Eldric Orb, which is basically mostly another PVM one. Uh, it's like a, a Sarah God Sword, except it's for magic. So if oh, you... it heals. Yeah, yeah, it heals a bit of HP, but it mostly focuses on prayer, whereas the SGS uh, mostly focuses on HP recovery and and the side bonus is prayer. This is the opposite. It's a lot of prayer. You can overheal prayer, you know, above your original level, and they'll heal a little bit of your uh, HP as well. It causes seventy five percent uh special so yeah so there's there, there's the one take reduction speed one right and then there's the special type one that lets you hit hard and accurate like an ags and then there's the Eldritch warp that's like an sgs why do i feel like the the attack speed one is going to be used a ton more in pvp than the special attack i just i just have uh, a yeah, feeling I mean, that sure. faster yeah, mage cast really on every like, account especially a pure yeah, what would you prefer like, you know like the big 
the big hit spec or like a spammy or you know auto attack you know i don't know man that, i'm fucking i'm gonna try them all of course but i feel like it definitely has a place in pvp <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, that yeah one tick yeah, faster yeah. could really uh change it up it's gonna yeah. be weird to get mm -hmm. used to though but yeah, if you put on the orb though, you need seventy five magic. But I'm sure Pierce can get that too, right? It's like pretty. Reasonable. Like, can you wield the staff without an attack level? Uh, it doesn't have an attack requirement. I I don't think it doesn't say. Ooh, it only this is has, gonna create so yeah. many different kind of builds. I like yeah, this. It only yeah. has seventy five magic. I actually do kind of like this. I'm not gonna. Well, lie. I I believe those builds are actually already in the game. So the the staff of the dead. Oh well, I guess they have attack. Yeah, I'm I'm confident it's only sixty five attack because it just specifically just says sixty five magic. And that's so. It. If it requires no attack levels, um, like you can effectively splash, and I'm pretty sure you could do it for 10 HP, get yourself like no, no mage, and be like level 30 odd or something. So just be a mage pure, uh, dude. You, no, could this that, be that the new be splashing weapon. That, that, bro. That's a whole new pure. It's just straight possibly, magic only pure. <laughs> it probably is going to be the splash staff. Like think about dude, it. If it hey, can it splash faster, and even think about it. That's crazy. Yeah, this is um, I like. I kind of like it. I kind of uh -huh. like it. I'm not going to pick care of it. The ultimate splashing. I, I might start making a, a level 3 right now and splash 99 Mage on it just for the shits and gigs. And when this comes out, slap it on there. Million views in the first 24 hours. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, Rexy's already got the ideas, bro. I'm going to have defense pure in the making. Let's go. Let's I'm going to have to yoink some of that myself. I'm just kidding. Yeah, when, when... <laughs> I've, got a max, I've got a max AGS pure. I might just get a fucking the green gloves. Fuck it, instead of making one from scratch, it's just getting 30 defense levels. Easy yeah, uh, so I'm a little disappointed they didn't really, like, hash out the max hits and stuff for all these different ones. Because, like, the only one that it showed was the attack deals up to 58 base damage, which can be modified a crazy amount with magic uh, magic percentage. Which means it could be, like, a 70. But, like, I, I just, I hate it, because I, I have to try to do the math on my own. Like, what the heck? You know, just... Just like give us the theoretical max hits, that'd be great. Cause so that I can actually like see if the harmonized orb actually will you know compete with the uh, sang staff or something, right? This doesn't say, so it's really hard to like do it. Right. So I next know... time they should really put the theoretical max, dude. Honestly. Yo, re quickly click the link I just dropped. I know that we were bashing earlier on the gnome shields. Oh, oh now you like it all of a sudden or what? No, no, no. Uh, if you this? go, if you scroll down on this, go down to the nightmare, click it. And I think that's supposed to be the boss. And I think that looks fucking sweet. Look at that thing, uh, man. That yeah. looks that looks like it drops a very high tier magic stat. Yeah, it's I disturbing, like it. That bro. looks awesome, yeah. dude. I really like that. Yeah, she's that a good sick, dancer, dude. though. She's a dancer. Oh, man. I, I'm really looking forward to this boss. It's a working progress. Yeah. Rest in peace to, like, you know, the 1% of the cares. But hey. Yeah, no, you know me. Yeah. Uh, I'm, What's I'm, I guess <laughs> a little concerning is because um, you guys have heard talk about Rage Three, right? Coming to the game. Well, Rage Three is 2020, 2021, dude. It's, it's not coming out anytime soon. They're planning it for a whole another year, and not doing. Well, because it, it didn't get announced at Runefest because Group Iron Man is their focus for the. Oh, later so they're half. actually focusing on that. I thought it was gonna be sooner because what I was saying is all these. Items they didn't even announce mm -hmm. Rage Three, so yeah, it'll be twenty twenty one. Yeah, like, what yeah are they Nightmare is not Rage 3. Rage 3. Yeah, Nightmare is not Rage 3. That, that's what confused because I totally much. thought they, it would be somewhat intersected. All these items coming in the game seems like almost like a, you yeah. know, a, a Raids update. Yeah, let me, let me tell you. I don't know when Rage 3 is coming out, but the earliest it would come out, it would have to be 2021. Do you, do you know so. why I'm in favor actually looking at this now? I know we went into this like, oh my god, it, it passed, it passed. But like, I'm kind of in favor of it. Re, you say all the time about these like money makers, like gargoyles and stuff like that. Every monster that comes in the game has like a bare flat hourly yeah, yeah it's because it drops articles. GP. Like Corporal Beast is effectively one of a kind. I suppose it can be like compared to the old Godward dungeon bosses. Yeah, but still this God is, Wars and Corp is like that. Those are like this will be ones. on par with the Corporal Beast, and that to me is very exciting. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, from a PVM stance, that's good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be good. Yeah, I just hope it's hard enough, because, you know, otherwise would, people would just camp it, brain dead, it, you know? I mean, if you look at the last few, like, years of updates of bosses the Jagas have brought out, even the medium tier ones have had some form of, whether it be easy or not, some sort of strategic way to kill it. It's not like old RuneScape where yeah, you just dude. walk into Bandos and whip it to death. Yeah, no, I, mean? I just hope it, it, it really is hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
I, I'm sure this thing has something like the dance in a moat. I want some I surprises. That, bro, that could probably you know? wipe an entire room filled of people. I hope. Yeah, that's what I uh, want. <laughs> I, I hope that you can uh, safe spot it with a haster, and I hope that you can cannon it as well from outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy money. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the last thing is the the new book, the tome. Okay. This, this is like the awesome. biggest one. This is the biggest. This looks cool. This, this looks is the cool, biggest man. one. The Sirens Tome. Yeah, this thing is probably magic. the single most controversial item that, that's coming in. The Mage's Book. Guys, if you want to make a quick buck, when this bloody item comes out, buy yourself a hundred Mage's Book. They're bound I to bet they've already got one. No, you got No, you got to be quick, though, because on, on release day, whoever dumps it too late, you're going to lose all, a lot of money. So. Wait, is, is this coming out in January? Yeah, January. That but... is like a full month of content, man. Oh, I'm so excited. That's going to be so good. Yeah, but um, yeah, this this new tome is basically the new best in slot magic shield in general, because this is also the only shield that has magic damage multiplier. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So uh, the arcane, you know, it, it uh before it was only magic accuracy, and the arcane had the highest of them all at twenty, right? But now this shield will completely, I would say, uh, dominate the the magic scene for the most part, in most places. Because I mean that four percent, that's that's guaranteed yeah. one extra damage, bro. That's a guaranteed and, damage. And what what's it called? Magic attack bonus. Anything with that is just Magic instantly percentage. best yeah. in slot. Yeah. It's like technically, obviously, I'm sure you it's know like strength bonus, and I'm sure yeah. you know mint as well. But like technically, the best mage amulet is the third age mage amulet. But whoever uses that, because Nobody. it's just accuracy, it's got yeah. no percent damage on it. You know what I mean? The occult like, is two and a half damage, bro. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this tome. To make money for this yeah, update. this tome is 15 magic accuracy, which is only five less, you know, than the arcane. But it comes with that one guaranteed damage. It does have some negative supporting stats though on the defense and, and the prayer. But like seriously, in nine, nine out of ten places, the defense don't matter. The prayer bonus doesn't really matter. So the, the fire tome gives you fire runes. Does this give any sort of rune base too? Um, or? no, I don't. It doesn't say. It just kind of boosts every yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. just, it's just whatever magic you end up using, you get that four percent. It'd be kind of cool if there's like a support book in a way that that, that helped you with like a teleport spells, etc. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. They could do those. They could do niche stuff like you oh, know, meta a lot. Camelot training. Well, you know, I've been playing Twisted League, and they have the relic where when you any any spell you use, you'd save runes. Even the teleport alx, all these support runes. Oh yeah, yeah cool the a book like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Maybe like another side of it too. It doesn't have yeah. to just be offensive. Maybe we have a support book that I'm not sure what it could yeah, be. Yeah, but just it's crazy. This pass, so yeah, the arcane is definitely gonna, uh, in terms of prestige and price, is gonna you know chop down a few pegs. You know, players like me, uh, a little bit disappointed. You know that they didn't decide to uh, do this add-on for the arcane. Yeah, that seems like it. It seems how it's gonna be the best in slot. That might have been a better option, but yeah, that's, they decided that's why to add I'm it like, to the mages book. So. All these items are pretty good coming from the same boss. It just feels a little weird, you know. It's like every it, usually like a boss comes out one or two peak items, not like every item is gonna be fucking sick, you know. Yeah, I, like I mean something. this like this boss has to be massively like you know complex if you know to justify all these yeah. rewards. You know what I'm, it is, man. Uh, the Jag Jagex is probably scared to to only put two items because what if those two don't pass? I think that's probably why they they like to. Go <laughs> you you think they did all these items and hoped only a couple would pass? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's oh. kind of like how I mean, you know, that's kind of how it used to be, right? For the most part, not everything yeah. would pass. So I think they went with that strategy, you know, because like the you could say they're mildly surprised, maybe. Yeah, they were probably like, "Whoa, yes, this is a hit. Everything passed." Yeah, what's up? You know, like, that's probably what they're thinking right now. They're probably but, celebrating uh, right now, dude. Dude, the the thing is, the fact that it has, all right, it has the helm, it has the uh, the top, mm -hmm. the legs, the book, the staff, and also three orbs, right? Five, yeah, like six, ten items, seven, right? eight. That, that's yeah, eight yeah. items that we know of, and I'm sure there's a pet, yep, nine uh, yep. rare uniques to this boss. And probably and a jar, ten. It probably is ten. It probably is. Uh, but, like, slay your think, helm, man. Think about that. Like, killing this boss... <laughs> Like if you kill it, it's like next, week, bro. You kill there's, next. There's there's so many like rare drop tables you can hit. It's like there's gonna be a lot 
content coming from this boss. I'm genuinely excited. For yeah, what yeah. I, I low key want them to make it them so rare that like you don't see this, sh you don't see a draw for like days, bro. I want, well, I want that. What, one in five k for the staff and book. Okay, yeah, <laughs> right. maybe like I'm one in a thousand, you know, something like that. Not one in five k. That's ridiculous. 5K. Holy fuck. 5k come on because corp is like that you know corp is like one in 1k for for an item type of deal so. and those those aren't even as good as this book i know they're not but yeah, i mean the le is his own thing but yeah do you guys want to see what uh just kind of estimate what the prices are going to be like it's impossible to know uh, really. i There's... mean the book and the staff will be maxed up i know the staff well day will be one it might be max cash, cash. First comes out. Yeah, yeah yeah but like the thing is that's kind of like that all the time for high level stuff you know day one's always like the stakers will buy for like max cash. They don't give a shit. Well, you know? Yeah, like what was Scythe was over like three bill and now it's much less, right? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of maintained its price. Yeah. yeah it's like the, 500 the, mil. Yeah, the Scythe is like 500, 600 mil, but that's because you only really use it in like two places that you can profit. Everywhere else you use it, you lose, you actually lose money. So it's like, what's the point of using it elsewhere? You know, unless you're Omega rich and money is just never a problem to you, which is, you know, a mm -hmm. very small handful of players. Yeah, but but yes, T bills like you buy it, it doesn't cost shit ever ever again. The dragon arrows are mega cheap, you know. Uh, Amethyst arrows are mega cheap. Scythe every hit, you lose a thousand plus GP every single hit. <laughs> you're just like fuck, money down the drain. You know, it's strong, but if you're not using it at places that can really make a profit, you're it's kind of like oh, not worth it. You know. All right, should we cover the PVP kind of side of these items as well? Did or? you? Didn't we do that? What do you got? Well, what do you have for input? We've spoken that? quite. If there's something you want to add on, well, yeah. the triangle, well, right? That's kind of what makes hybriding yeah. fucking amazing in RuneScape. Is that everything has a weakness, right? Mage freezes melee, right? Melee out damages range, hopefully, and then range can attack mage when from afar. But when mage is, you know, taking out melee because it's farther away and can still max almost the same hit as melee, it seems like the triangle is uh not not as balanced anymore that's why that's why i think tri is pretty sweet it has that balance in there i mean a very easy counter to that could just be the the um the dark bow which is like what a 500k item that could one stack so like this shield doesn't wrong. offer defense bonuses it's worse than the arcane and like basically if you have this instead of an arcane on you're more than likely to be hit that 48 48 or 49 49 whatever it is combined with the dragon throwing axe so I'd say in that sense, it's kind of balanced in terms of DPS. I just, I guess it depends on how accurate this weapon is and how often it hits max, which would probably true. be broken to begin with. But I feel like it's, I feel like there's counters to this. There are a lot. I, I hope cheaper. there's counters. It's going to be like you're going to be risking a lot, right? With if you use most of these weapons, but the dark bow in general, just kind of going back to that, I, I used it, and yeah, it can really hit hard, but most of the time it's shit, right? It's very, um, you'll, you'll get a kill maybe like every three or four kill chances maybe. But this weapon seems seems like it's going to be pretty accurate. I guess it gives you more things to do in PvP, and there's going to be some more strategies now. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure if it's going to be great for it or not. Yeah, I think an interesting... I, I think we should try... Let's, let's have like a little guesstimate right now. What do you think the staff is gonna like level out as in terms of price what what do you think man dude i don't even know how strong the boss is man i'm gonna say uh 200 200 what about you re um i mean if the boss is like easy like after a week it'll probably yeah be like 100 for yeah. a while it'll do, probably you think it for a while do you think it'll be less than the uh do you think this is less or more useful than the uh sanguation staff or how uh, it's say? less yeah. useful. i don't think a lot of people for pvming like... is less useful i would say because uh it, like i said dude if you're a lot of players are iron pvmers they're not going to be able to use the staff a whole lot yeah because the only way to really take advantage of it is if you have a tome of fire that's charged but one charge is only 20 shots so yeah, you're gonna go through it so fast on a main account. That's the only kind of like places that you can use it is because you can buy the charges. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, it'll be used very uh, not 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 that not that crazily. It's it's more niche, very niche. I can see people trying to do Inferno with it though. It might it might come in handy at the Inferno because like yeah, the healing definitely. orb is pretty cool. It it gives you a ton of prayer back. Oh, I, it's a healing and a prayer back. 
Well, there's one. There's one that's that's for that, right? I, can you scroll or... up a little bit? I, I saw the maximum of 120 hit uh, prayer. XP, yeah, yeah, that's the healing hits. one. Yeah, that's the healing one. That one so... focuses on more prayer. It heals HP, but it heals more prayer. Okay, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's gonna be very niche. You know, it's gonna be quite niche. Not not as not as spammable as Trident. Like Trident and Sang will still be the most spammed uh you know magic weapon for everybody so you, you I... got a thing for sorry mm. um for them to bring a staff into the game looking at the staffs we already have and how good they are such as the trident of the seas dude the trident of the seas is 40k right like the real basic one with no charges considering like how fast it attacks it's auto attack it casts like runes that you store inside of it like that alone is a very very strong item compared yeah, to what we've yeah, seen in old yeah. school and then you go from that to the TOB Sanguishian staff, or however you say it. Like these are staffs that are very useful in so many ways. So realistically, for them to even attempt to put another staff into the game, it kind of has to have the bar risen a little bit, or otherwise it's yeah. just dead content on release. Yeah, the, the only crux of it is basically the tome charges, because like it's, it's just main. You know, only mains can really take advantage of this staff. Yeah, which when I you mean, say tome, whatever, you said I don't care. It doesn't matter. Do you, do you mean you have to use Tome of Fires? Yeah, like, because or, or else fire. your fire surge is gonna hit Dookie. Because the the tome gives your fire spell fifty percent more damage. It turns a let's say a twenty. Uh, uh, let's say your your tome of fire your your uh, fire surge is thirty. With your tome, it turns for, into forty five. That's charged. It has to be charged. Okay, though. No? So. So that's Sweet. why if you don't have the tome, then you're losing so much of that max hit, and it won't make it won't be worth it without it. If it's not a charge, the uh, tome of fire is not worth using. I just hope that this boss is fun. Yeah. Like, I I hope that it's an interesting boss to kill. Yeah. And even when the, the prices of all the items drop to their like you know normal levels, amount, yeah. I I hope that it's just genuinely a fun boss to kill. To yeah. be honest. Now going back to the PVPs subject the only reason i brought that up because like rakes said i've oh, kind of given up on pvp in general as well but uh just to have a nice conversation on the side right is nice to talk about like does it actually affect it positively or negatively either way you know the wildy's gonna be there i don't really mind i don't pk as much anymore but i you know it, it definitely brings a meta into the wilderness now that was not there before like it, it can change a lot of aspects man yeah um, dude, the the one tick faster the the special attack from afar seems like a lot of stacking methods are coming out more dps single clans could uh usually if you're getting piled you you wouldn't pray mage right you would you usually pray melee or range depending on how far away you are from the safe zone now it's like <laughs> you know what are you gonna pray now you have no idea um yeah dude more surprises or yeah it's it's like, will single clans get stronger from this? I don't know, man. That's some shit I would have thought about beforehand. I'll, we'll see how it comes. I'll, I'll probably jump on my pier and try it out when it comes out. Yeah, man. I mean, good content for P. Uh, I feel like there's, you know, there's some, there's some content for the B cares for sure, and like the suppliers that is PVMers <laughs> will yeah. just be killing the boss trying to get the drops as per usual. We'll just see how fast they come into the game so we can use them. Yep. Yeah, man. Right, well, to PvP. <laughs> yeah, that's about it though. Uh, we got awesome. an hour and thirteen minutes, so including the uh, you know space talk. So <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's a good pod, guys. If you want a full podcast on about space, space, and it, if you Featuring don't, Neil then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my own podcast on my main channel. I'll talk about space to enlighten people. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. Can I be invited? Yeah, of course you can. I'll have a different guest on every single week, dude. Yeah, right? different and, get, and just just talk to a week. content creator and be like, let's talk about space. <laughs> <laughs> I could that be awesome, man. No, but seriously, we we should. Um, there are loads of really really cool, fascinating videos, man. Like, let's not get on the subject because we're gonna tangent on for another. Yeah, yeah, we can we can to. save it for uh, you know our mini podcast, you know. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. that that's a really really good idea. I like that. We could be like. The creation, the real creation of RuneScape. Where the did birth. RuneScape begin? And then we could like take it from that and be like, 
we all Silicon came Valley. from this supernova. We are all part of stars, including RuneScape, the game we love so much. Probably why <laughs> we love it so much. But yeah, guys, if you want a space related tangent podcast at some point, if it's something that has piqued your curiosity, I hope that I'm not just saying this stuff and you guys are just like, fuck space. Who gives no, a no, shit? No, 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 like no. No, not you guys. I'm talking about the audience. I know that you guys are down to talk about it. But like, I hope that people like would actually listen to a podcast like that because not only do I think it'd be really cool to get people like involved in that kind of subject, but I also think there's a lot of stuff that we could personally learn from the comments, you know? And like, if people liked it, I'd love to read the comments and just hear what people have to say, and, like theories they've heard of and like theories they've had themselves. Like nothing's wrong. They're all theories at the end of the day. You know what I mean? I was... Like I find it so unbelievably fascinating. I, I love it. I really do. I was actually thinking of starting a side channel and talking about just the theories I've come up with for life and space and like existing just because I feel, uh, you know, you can't really talk about it too much on stream. You'll get like, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, really it's boy, oh boy. Not you know, they, they like it, but I don't want to go over. You know, there's always that thing where it's like, you don't want to go to like. In detail. To, you don't want to go in detail. Bro. It's like I always say there, there's a there's a saying. It's like you don't have to believe in something to humor it. That's what kind of like uh, if you have some intelligence, like you don't have to. No, it's real but you can humor the idea because it's interesting and that's what yeah. i do a lot and it's like yep. i don't want to be chastised some crazy son of a bitch for Dude, talking about some of this uh, shit you know i yeah. i will say this like there are so many very controversial subjects which could tie into the space talk uh like a prime example would be like religion, no religion. straight off the bat but yeah it, it's one of those things it's like it's not meant to offend it's simply a different perspective do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm per I'm personally not religious. I'm more than happy to like talk about that stuff in the podcast that we have and like the way that I see stuff regarding like the universe and whatnot. Um, but you know, if people get offended by your opinion, then it's just like go outside, man. There's two like, so, there's two just there's two why? states of people. Hey, let's just take bro. the podcast yeah. and just turn it into a space podcast. You fuck RuneScape. Let's just jump into it. The old school yeah, like, space like, like, cats. Like, I know a lot. Of, <laughs> we we kind of we we are starting to get to know our viewers. You know, like I know some <laughs> viewers are really down for the tangents, but then there's this other side. You know, they're very like we're here for the topic at hand. So we need we we're, they we're know what they sub for. Yeah, we're, we're I can getting, talk firsthand <laughs> you know, out of all of us being the only person that's ever met a fan of the podcast, and they're genuinely very cool dudes. Okay, the guy that I met at RuneFest. I'm sure I tagged you in the picture, but he just, um, he flamed the shit out of Mint. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I tagged you in the picture. Now, he was, he was a really cool guy. He was really cool. And we took a picture together. I think I tagged you in it and was like, this guy just flamed you. But like, um, <laughs> what was it? He, he I, I think this is the guy, actually. I'll link it real Yo, quick. I'm pretty sure this is the dude. 20, this is one, 20, this is one of our podcast, one of our podcast viewers. I'm pretty sure. You can show it on screen if you want. Um, but yeah, he, he roasted Mint about something that Mint said. And then, but he was so nice about it. He was like, you know, I commented and I felt really bad for saying it. And like, <laughs> I hope Mint didn't take it per. And I was just like, dude, it was like, you know, we're not going to take it personal. No, I do yeah. take it personal, man. I got feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was it's just funny. there like, yeah, I, I, was uh, like, I agree. I was like, Mint Mad Cow's a cunt. I just like him, <laughs> and if you want to replace him at any time, give me your email and I'll drop you a message. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, he, he was a nice guy. He really was. He really. Uh... I think. I think that was the guy. It might not have been. It might have been someone else. But <laughs> he don't even remember. Don't remember. Imagine... Maybe. Oh god. No, no. I let's just a... say it's him. It is him. I took a picture with the dude. It might have been him. It might have been someone else. But I'm sure I sent the picture to you. Man. Oh, I remember you telling me about it. All right, guys. Uh, before we get on the tangent, uh, so let let's wrap up. What what we got? Like the video, please, if you want to see yep. more. Right? If we you like, are, you like this content. We are incredibly sorry for the lack of videos. Um, it just, it has been hard for us to get all together. Like even tonight, uh, I woke up at nine p.m. GMT. I stayed awake all night last night. I went to bed at six p.m. Had a three hour nap. I'm here now. Uh, it's been it's been pretty difficult and I've got so much on my plate this month It's unbelievable, but yeah. we will do our best to get content yeah. out and on top of that Leave the video a like please okay. it help it helps us out. It lets yeah. us know that we're doing something right It also helps us get recommended, right? That's the true reason behind likes. We want to get more recommendations Grow the channel link your friends link your family get them involved in the space talk and yeah, it's a good time <laughs> subscribe Okay, all right, we're gonna wrap up now. All right, see you guys later